one of the ways that we think of as human beings, as I mentioned before, are special is that we use these words, we make sentences, we have grammar, we have meaning, we talk to each other, we talk to each other. Now, you, um, you study something that uh, might be called language, but it's not in humans, it's in monkeys. They could maybe be talking to each other, like actually using words, so yeah. to speak? There was, um, there was previous research that was done uh, in the savannah on, uh, on vervet monkeys, and, uh, and that was uh, stuff done in the 70s, 80s, and, and we knew already that uh, the, the vervet monkeys had different alarm calls for different predators. So for instance, if, uh, if a vervet monkey saw uh, an eagle flying by, it would give a particular alarm call, and, and others would know just from hearing the call that an eagle was nearby. But that was one ex basically one example, but there are 200 uh, something species of primates and we just didn't know if that was a general feature of primate uh, cognition and communication or not. And that's really where this whole research began that we wanted to know from other species if, if we would find the same <coughs> types of patterns or not. And so I started with the Diana monkeys and, and it, it turned out that in fact they do have the same system, different alarm calls for now different what is a Diana predators. monkey? What kind of monkey is a Diana monkey? Diana, it's you know it's one of these uh, colorful forest uh, guanons, and they live in, uh, in in groups with others, such as the Campbell's monkey. So that's one uh, interesting thing in these African forests that sometimes you've got four, five, six species of monkeys that form one group together, and the reason they do that presumably is uh, because they it, it protects them much better against predation. So if <clears throat> it's basically uh, you know, more eyes that, that pay attention. And what we found fairly quickly is that each species has their own uh, alarm call system and, and they understand each other. So in the first uh, video clip, if you could play that please, uh, you're gonna see a Campbell's monkey uh, giving an alarm call uh, series. So here's a Campbell's monkey. Right, so that's the, uh, the leopard alarm call uh, that the monkey gives. Now if a Diana monkey hears this particular call, then uh, he, would, he would first of all give his own leopard alarm call, which are acoustically different, but also do stuff that you do when a leopard's around. So he would you know, look on the ground and try and locate the thing and, and perhaps, uh, uh, you know, perhaps start mopping it if they can see it and so on. So um, they, they, they have an understanding of what, the, of what this stuff means. Uh, we also found, oddly, that uh, some birds understand monkey alarm calls. So really? there's, uh, uh, there's various, these large hornbills that you find in African forests. And so we, we've done some playback experience. And so for example, if you play a, lap, a monkey leopard alarm call to a hornbill, then the hornbill just pretty much ignores it because they live high up in the canopy and leopards just aren't really relevant to them. But if you play a, a, a monkey eagle alarm call, then they get very excited and give their own alarm calls and start look, flying around looking for the uh, eagle and so on. So uh, even birds understand monkey talk, so to speak. Wow. 